guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? I know you didn't think we were going to leave you until January 1st, 2015. Shame on you. But I do have bonus video footage for you. And this is powerful. You understand? We are headed inside a GS4 Academy down here in Hastings, Florida. Unfortunately, it is a juvenile correctional facility. I can't take you guys in there with me, but please take the time and listen to this footage. It is unreal. It will change you and change your life. As I said before, it's your big brother Griggs. I'll never leave you behind. Check out this bonus over the hump Wednesday. Man, like, that's real stuff. Each one of you hold a secret that life is supposed to have come out of you. But you so caught up in the moment and focused on this moment of pain that you don't realize that once the pain is over with, there's nothing after that. Like you got nothing but love after that. All you gotta do is get past this moment of pain. You've already come this far. Get a reward out of it. Instead of right now the middle of the street. I mean, I can't, I'm not going home. I'm going back to the truck where I was back trying to get anybody to turn. That was before me a lot. So to suffer through it, I know that a lot of you probably deal with depression. Somebody probably told you that you might want to any of you. Any other mental illness, you can have a ton of problems. What's your diagnosis? Because I have those same diagnoses. Right? You can either choose to live inside of them, or you can choose to break them. Because I like you not. There ain't a pill they won't prescribe for you. There's no medication that anybody's ever going to give you that's going to take the pain away. Because the pain ain't here. It's not physical. It's not something you can touch. It's inside. And it don't matter how much you disconnect from it, it's still going to be there. Why you don't feel it in the moment is doing push-ups, sit-ups, and squats and ready to put its foot back in. You understand what I'm saying? So the only way for that to work, you gotta become mentally stronger than the actual situation. You gotta become stronger than the pain. You gotta decide that I don't care how much this hurts, that I'm gonna get borderline retarded and not feel it. I'm going to take the pain and instead of trying to get away from it, trying to shy away from it, or anything like that, and I'm going to, I'm going to face it head on. This is what I'm going to do. You ask me what changed my life. That's what changed my life. Stop running from the pain. Somebody looked me in my face and called me selfish. Because I had rationalized in my mind that if I killed myself tonight, it would bring closure to my mother's life. It would be, I mean, my father really didn't deal with me yet like I did my sisters didn't have to worry about too much of nothing. And my daughter could really just move on. She'll be fine. You see what I'm saying? So my rationale was that maybe by 11, she would forget. I exist. I'm hoping you hear me because rationally, would you, do you, any of y'all forget that y'all had a father? But you know he exists. See what I'm saying? And whether you like it or not, you might feel pain to it to a degree. And I won't ever take that from you. I mean, some of you, there's just some pain there. But you'll never forget that he's there. And whether you know it or not, your life, each one of you is responsible for somebody. Whether you got kids or whether you don't, you're responsible for somebody. I ain't saying you owe. I'm saying that at the end of the day, somebody is depending on you. And how you go throughout your day every day affects somebody. So if anybody in here got the misassociation that your life don't affect somebody else, stop. Because whether you know it or not, I'm staring at an empty chair where I was looking for him to be here today. And he let me down. See what I'm saying? I hope just as much of you as you doing me coming. She'll tell you the moment I get home, I'm like, we gotta go. It's an hour. We gotta go. 
My kids is there. My kids at home. I could be, oh, uh, you got to go. I got people calling from work on my phone. Ah, it's happening. I'm sorry. You might have to wait until tomorrow. I got to be in Haitian Florida tonight. Can you do this interview tonight? They need a job to leave one tomorrow. My boy is me. And I need you as much as you need me. Because if I never give you what I have to give you, then I'm going to take it to the graveyard with me. And then somebody in here is going to die right alongside me because they never had the knowledge to stop. See what I'm saying? There's a treasure chest inside you that you got to open up and get to the rest of the world. And it's funny because the more you give the world your treasure, the more it gets back to you. The more it gets back to you. Each one of you got to give. Each one of you got to give. The question is, which one are you going to unwrap it? And let everybody see exactly who you are. You're so selfish inside this moment that you're going to take away everything from yourself, everything from everybody else. Like, you can't give up on you right now. Y'all came too far. How many of you want to get hurt? Hurt me some kind of way. Hurt me. Anybody else? Let me be honest. Got it? <coughs> Stronger because of it. 